Welcome. Are you going to look into the camera? I, w I don't know which one to look at. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another... <laughs> Sorry. 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 Are you laughing at my audience? No, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> Hi everybody! Good to see you again on another day of weakness. We we tried doing an opening and we can't figure out anything. Words are hard, especially talking to people. But hey, thank you for being here on another day of weakness. Time of giving, time of sharing, and receiving. I was gonna go for like the nicer of you know, the two. It's like the it's about it's about. I guess it is receiving too. I suppose it's a special guest. You decide. Yeah. Ah! What we have today for you is a long, passed down tradition. 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 It's pronounced. Tradition. It was founded by George Isaac. Washington himself. It was founded by Igor Isaac Wolfenstein, which is why it was called a tradition, and then has then gone to tradition. Because we Americans have to change it. Because tradition is hard to say. Tradition, just, just skip over it. It's fine. Sir Isaac, he first decided that he was going to take a set of ingredients that are here. And he was going to put them together in a culmination. He didn't know what he was doing. He was just going crazy. Flour, butter, stuff, and other things. Sugar. And he made the Christmas cookie. So as a long time honored tradition, we shall be making these Christmas cookies. But much like Sir Isaac, who had no recipe, or reset, as they say, neither will we. We will be making these from scratch, no reset. Which reset is like recipe, but slightly more fancy. Why did you have to come up with two? Could just say recipe or reset. Either one, but we're gonna say reset because we're special. So we roll up the sleeves because that means that it's time to go to work. And can we do? Oh, I forgot to tell you, we only have 10 minutes between the time that we start going and putting the freezer. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I'm really bad at this. Uh, no rips. Oh, that this was terrible. Anyway, uh, here's my boy. I found it. I'm over here. By the way, I'm over here. So. Like this, we give some little ASMR and just chop it. Okay. You gotta just take a whole bunch of flour. That's the key to an entire batch is as much flour as humanly possible. Two sprays. Two sprays. Hey, mama. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for right, the this flour. This is pretty good with the flour. You got one cup. Give me the flour. Flour. Why do you have to rip the bag like that? This looks so much easier when other people do it. I have leveled it off. You want to see how nice and level that is? Yeah. I know you've got face detect now, but with this, that's level. <laughs> okay, so one day I was working with Tony, and, and I was carrying a sheet pizza. Um, to someone, and it was, and I was holding it on even because you know it happens sometimes. <laughs> and he goes, Evelyn, level in, level in, <laughs> level in. Yeah, and then everyone started laughing at me. 
so now that's all that I think of. Oh, lovely one. Look at that. Mmm. The big test is if they're edible. That's the point, right? Um, yes. Good. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> you was the one who decided to let me have Mexico. <gasps> I didn't decide to let you have Mexico. Uh, I just spilled it. That is the problem. You did. I did not. You, you decided can't. yourself. Ah! I just. That. Mm, my bowl just went in. To the mixing bowl. Okay, you gotta add this. We have five minutes. We're halfway done. Oh, oh no. I don't even have a lot. What are the eggs? <laughs> I almost forgot eggs. Eggs. One nice plump egg. I feel like we should use two. Let's use two eggs. I wonder what will happen if you put too many eggs in. Don't be giving me your secrets, wench. I'll be making these by myself. So rude. Yeah, it looks so wrong. I'm more like the eggs back. Why? Because that's what a good person uh. would do. Yes. Am I wrong? Yes. It doesn't tell you the measurements. Oh, right there. Maybe you should be the one with glasses. Oops. Did you get a shell in there? We have two. Minutes. We have two minutes. We're about two and a half minutes. It's looking better. Okay, let's give this thing a taste test. Oh, definitely more sugar. Mm. There we go. That's looking better. Probably is too much. Don't worry. About that. That's not. What we're doing. <laughs> This is homemade vanilla. This little expert I am. So this it smells so good. What's our time? Oh, it turned off. Whoopsie. 15 seconds! Oh no. 10 seconds! 10 seconds? Uh, 5! 2! Alright, hands down, back away from your stuff. I feel like we did a couple of things wrong. A couple? A couple of 
What does yours look like? <laughs> This is what mine looks like. This is what mine looks like. Mine looks so much better than this. Yeah. Mmm, look at that. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we gotta put this stuff into the fridge and let it refrigerate. That it does the thing that it needs to do. Hello everybody. This is Copix, in case you weren't able to tell from the beautiful buttery voice. I'm sorry if you start hearing some noises of cables and stuff. This is an impromptu voiceover. Oh, and there's Grandma Fox. Smash like if you love Grandma Fox. I hope you do. Uh, she's very positive and reassuring. Except for when she's not. Then it's a little scary. But she does give me food, so that's nice. Everyone's touching my hair because I put product in it afterwards. Actually, Ev did. Because she's my sister. Anyway. I am currently doing this voiceover because the audio didn't record. So you're just gonna have to figure out how it ends through this wonderful voice. What I'm doing currently is I am putting down a wax paper as a medium in between my quote unquote cookie dough, there I am straightening out my Snoopy hat, and the medium between the cookie dough and the pan so you can reuse the pan but the cookie dough doesn't stick to the pan and ruin it. Oh, don't eat that. Oh, why would you do that? It looks gross. And that clearly tastes gross. I'm so sorry for you. Ooh, and then there's that face of Evelyn. It's very gross. Can I get some Fs in the chat for Evelyn and her gross face? All right, so here I am, and I have a, uh, a, a cookie scoop. What you do is you take the cookie dough and you scoop it out. Now, I was told explicitly not to use it because my dough was too wet, but I said... Hush, wench. I am a man. I will do whatever I want. And so, uh, as the culinary expert as I am, I realized it didn't ever work out, so I needed to move on to plan B. And there's Ev just showing off that hers just happened to work. But as, like I said, the culinary expert that I am, I decided to roll it out, let it flop on down like a sexy buttery roll, much like after taking a nice poo after eating some Taco Bell. It reminds me of those good old days. Which, of course, if you're going to be a good culinary expert, you need to adapt. If my first attempt, what I would have wanted to do didn't work out, you just have to go on with your second idea. And uh, honestly, I am very, uh, a little, I'm a little astonished at myself even that I could just come up with a great idea like this so easily. And uh, I mean, Gordon Ramsay himself would be very, very uh, happy and excited. But here's gonna be a slow zoom in onto what I'm doing. It's much like a master artiste on a blank canvas, painting something that some people may say is, ew, gross, or, N yucky even but little does anyone know the true artistic masterpiece that is being painted that is being so expertly woven it's it's something that no one will notice until long after it's too late much like a Picasso or a Monet no one really thought it was that great until after they died and is now worth hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars which is of course what this masterpiece is going to be. Oh, there it is, just finished. And it is going to be put into the oven for about 20 minutes, if I do recall correctly. And you're going to be seeing my beautiful face here. Ah, oh, yes. Face of the master. And slowly sliding off screen. And here is the Dragon's Treasure Tea. We have coupon code Tom Assurance. If you go to Dragon's Treasure Tea, you can get something like English Breakfast like Grandma Fox has gotten, as well as Sailor Moon, Sailor Venus, and you just take loose leaf tea, and you put it in this nifty contraption, which you can also buy at thedragonstreasure.com, and then you fill it up with boiling water, or put in hot water, then put it in the microwave and boil it, in which case it'll make some amazing tea. And, of course, you can use coupon code TOMASSURANCE, to get $2 off of an order, $10 or more, or Tom Assurance 20 
through the month of December to get $4 off any purchase, $20 or more, and any money that I make will be going directly to the Tiltify Toys for Tots charity. And we're trying to raise $100, so I hope that you'll be able to donate. Now here's the final product of what I made. To be honest with you, it did not turn out the way that I wanted it to, but it did turn out to be the best Christmas um, um, well, let's just let this face say all that needs to be said. Pure happiness is what I see. Pure happiness. It needs more salt, yes. Okay, to be completely honest with you, it did not turn out at all. It was like an unsalted chip. So if you put a bunch of salt in there, it might have tasted like a pretty good chip or like pan. I believe it is. That's like that that bread, that Indian bread. But uh, yeah, F1. But uh, I hope to see you at the live stream. Okay, peace! A reset. 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 Or reset. No reset. Reset. Could just say recipe. Or reset. Either one. But we're gonna say reset.